Hey you guys, thank you for clicking on this video hanging out with me today. I got my cappuccino and I wanted to do a non-sponsored review of the new hair and body mists from Kopari. I non-sponsored because I bought this myself. I was actually looking for a hair mist. I was looking on Amazon and then I ended up watching a vlog. Somebody got sent these as PR and I was like, ooh. So I went on the website really quick. I have worked with Kopari in the past. They sent me a few things and I ended up really liking everything that they sent me. I think they're a really great brand. I also have a running affiliate code, like a coupon code with them. Them, which I'll link down below. That's the AC. It's 15 off Tosh. Hold on. I'm gonna go turn the AC off. So anyway, I went on the website and I was originally gonna buy this one right here. The Seychelles Sands, I think it's pronounced, with creamy vanilla and musk because it's inspired by one of my favorite products from them. It's this body oil, Golden Aura Body Oil with 24 karat gold flakes. This stuff is so good. I mainly save it for the winter time. I think this might be my second bottle, I'm not sure. No, actually I have a backup bottle that they sent me. But this right here, it's so luxurious. It leads your skin like literally glowing, but it's not like a greasy oil. And it smells so good. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's this paired with their Tahitian vanilla body butter in the winter time is like, I don't know it's a match made in heaven in my opinion so when i saw that this was inspired by that i was like perfect but then but then i saw that they had this because i wasn't about to buy all four full sizes because it's expensive buying all four full sizes but i saw this for 32 dollars. you get like these cute little mini sizes and i was like perfect and I actually used my coupon code for it 15 off tosh so it came out a little less than 32 dollars. so if you want to try these with 15 off Tosh, they say 15%. Again, this is not sponsored. I just, I was actually looking for a hair mist because I wanted something to like, you know, you want to smell good. I wanted something that wasn't super strong like a perfume, but something light that I can spritz on like the hair or after I apply the lotion. And I saw this and I thought, perfect. So the scents that they have is, like I said, Seychelles Sands, which is, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Seychelles, Seychelles, I don't know. I'm reading it as I'm seeing it. This is with creamy vanilla and musk. And then Marbella Bloom which is bergamot, neroli, white flowers, Malibu peach, which is jasmine and white peach. And then last but not least, Kanapali, Kanapali, I think, coast with sweet coconut milk and vanilla. So I already smelled them, already used them, and I'll tell you what I like about each one. I feel like fragrances are so personal. My fragrance pre preferences have changed so much within the past year, so much. I used to be like die hard. Dolce Gabbana Light Blue and Chanel Chance for like fancy occasions and then the other week I spelled sprayed Chanel Chance and I was like I don't know I'm not crazy about it I was not crazy about it and I'm starting to really love like warm sweet scents I don't know what it is it's crazy especially for me to say who was like die hard two scents for like 10 years it's changing I feel like things change is part of life change is normal and change is good so first up we have Seychelles Sands and this is the one that I was going to buy a full size of and I already sprayed the caps before this video so that the scent can like marinate because when you first spray this one, the top note, I'll read them to you, it's milky, creamy, spicy. So for me personally, I get a lot of spicy and I did not like what I was smelling at first. But yeah, it's just like this weird, almost like not pumpkin spice, but you know that spice part of pumpkin spice? If you know, then you'll know what I'm talking about. It's like, it's spice, it's true spice. And so I was so thrown off by that because I was really expecting it to smell like this, which is really warm. It's like a warm, creamy scent. So I was so thrown off and I'm really glad I did not buy the full size bottle of this because I actually was not crazy about the scent. But then as it lingered on the skin throughout the day, I was like, oh, okay, I'm finally getting that creaminess that I really love about the scent. But I feel like the spice is so overwhelming that it just threw me off. So I have like a love-hate relationship with this. Like once the spice kind of wears off a little bit, I get the scent that I love. But again, everybody's different. Everybody likes something different. So that's my review of this. The next one is Marbella Bloom. And again, this one's Mar Bergamot, Neroli, and White Flowers. And I usually do not like Neroli. But this one actually smells really nice. It's like a light, flowery scent. This kind of reminds me of some of their skincare a little bit. But more of a sophisticated, flowery version. And this I actually really like to spray on linens and pillowcases and stuff. I know it's meant for the hair, but it's a great room spray. It's a very feminine floral scent and it's fun. It's a fun scent. It's not too overwhelming, but it's definitely very floral. So if you don't like floral, but usually I don't like floral either, but this one's nice. It's pretty pleasant in my opinion. This one actually surprised me. So this is why it's nice to have these because, you know, you'd be surprised. Malibu Peach. My kids love this one as well. 
This one smells nice. This smells like something you'd probably smell at Victoria's Secret maybe or like the mall. It does smell familiar. This one's jasmine and white peach and I don't usually love jasmine, but I feel like the jasmine is not like super prevalent. The top notes are mango, peach, and pineapple. This one's definitely like summer. This is Malibu peach. I do like this one as well. Even though they're both floral, I would say this one's more fruity a little bit. This one's more floral, floral, floral. And now I'm getting a little bit of the musk. Yeah, I really like this one. I actually really do. Marbella Bloom. This one's probably my favorite so far. And then the Malibu Peach, it's great, but definitely gives off like shopping mall Victoria's Secret vibes for me. I don't know what it is. Something in here definitely reminds me of like Victoria's Secret. And then last one is Kanabali Coast. I think I'm pronouncing it correctly. Sweet Coconut Milk and Vanilla. This one I believe is inspired by their body butter. And it's definitely giving the scent of their body butter, like their original formula. And this smells really nice. Like I feel like this is a great universal summer scent. It smells like sea salt, coconut, vanilla. Yeah, it's coconut milk and vanilla. And the top notes are peach nectar, lemon peel, and then it has coconut shavings, creamy milk, warm spice, vanilla bean, praline, cloud musk. It's very summery, like beachy summery. The Malibu peach is like flowery summery. This one's like beach summery, like a different summer vibe. And I do like this one as well. But I will say my favorite, surprisingly, surprisingly, is probably Marbella Bloom. It's just, I don't know. I feel like it's 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 really nice and I would love to spray this over my hair. This one, the spice is throwing me off. But yeah, if it wasn't for the spice, maybe this would be really nice for um, like the fall and winter time. I'll have to give it a try. But that's kind of my quick review on that. Again, everybody kind of their noses work differently you prefer something different i love that you get to try all four of them they're pretty decent sizes 32 dollars again with the code comes out to a little bit less lasting power i will say it's a hair and body mist it's not a perfume but i did smell I've, i used one the other day can't remember which one it was i think it might have been this one and i was like oh i'm finally getting the creamy vanilla a little bit like i would smell it throughout the day very 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 subtle but i feel like i did smell it it's not a perfume again it's a mist but i feel like it's the perfect amount for like a light spray over your lotion or, or over your hair if you want your hair to smell nice i don't know i feel like it's just the perfect thing to add into your summer fall winter routine so yeah i was really excited to see these and i wanted to share about that those are my thoughts on that i will leave the code down below not sponsored but when i saw these i was like perfect literally exactly what i was looking for hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me thanks for watching and i really hope to see you guys in future videos